Welcome back to Let's Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. And I'm Mike. And today, Blind Fight Friday. So what do we do for Blind Fight Friday? Blind Fight Friday, we pick two random samples out of the sample pool collection we have over here. We don't try to guess anything anymore. We put whiskeys head to head. And we try to see which one comes out on top. We will try to guess price and proof and all that stuff. That's just a little competition between brothers. But uh, ooh, that one's very dark on my side. I will say that. I didn't do bad this time. No, you did not. And again, although, uh, although I haven't really been doing too bad. Well, in, in, in your defense, there's really not a whole lot of bad left in it, oh, to be honest I bet with you. There's a couple in there. No, I'm we sure. No, there's. We'd rather not. There is, a, there is a bunch of them that are in there still. I shouldn't say that. Some of these bottles have been there since, you know, two and a half years ago when we started this game that we played. And some of these are, are brand new ones that either you suggest or I actually, uh, I actually have thought up and I'm like, oh, I want to say this is a banger and that's a banger. Let's see who comes out. Because the good thing about this is there's no misconception of what bottle. Like you look at a Booker's box and you're like, oh, this is going to be good or oh, it's going to be bad. Whatever your preferences on Booker's. But doing it this way, we have no clue. This could be Irish, Scotch, you know, bourbon, rye. I could say it's not. No, I'm just saying Irish it, it can be Scotch. anything. And we have to try to decipher which one we like better. So you don't get that, ooh, I have a Jack Daniels, I know I'm going to smell banana. Type it because that's what Correct. goes into my head. So there's no misconception of what you're actually doing. And, so. and honestly, if anybody has a Booker's box, you couldn't really get a better sampling. No, it, it because there's perfect. no way, no matter how these shift, they can't twist. Right. So whatever order you put them in, they'll always be there. Yeah. So it, 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 it does was work one out. of the better ways to right. utilize. And it's eight, it's eight, eight pairs, so it's 16 per box. It works out for it, but... Uh, you're going to see the thumbnails, and you're also going to see what we're drinking. Again, we have no clue. So, glass number the one is not bad. It is not bad at all. It's actually, it's actually coming out pretty good considering we just it, bought it. It's, it is coming out very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, the palate's even better than the nose. Actually, got a little something to it. I was going to say <laughs> it's got a little Where? something to it. Yeah. Where? yeah. We we just we jumped over the one thirteen. <laughs> yeah, that we yeah, had. yeah. That one that one had and a little something extra on that one. Uh, yeah, that was actually very good though. It was delicious. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> it is a hmm. Yeah. No. No. So, I, so the nose kind of fruited out a little bit right now. I'm not fruiting out at all. That was that. It's funny because the palate was was way stronger than the nose was though. To me. No, no, no. And but the, the palate's still holding on. Mm -hmm. So we definitely jumped up in proof compared to yesterday. Oh, I don't hate any bottom mm -mm. glass number mm -mm. one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I don't think we're in a rye because I am getting zero hint. No, that has a nice caramel taste to that. That is actually very with, good. with a with a nice little oak finish. Yes. But I'm it, just it, trying to see if I got a little nut, but we're gonna yeah, it does. <laughs> that's it. That sits on your tongue for it's, days. That is. Very I am good. not getting any rye mm -mm. lately. That's been standing out, and that that's no rye in there. And well, yo, know, the other weird thing is, glass two is way darker than glass. Yeah, two. well, that's the way you pour them. You you do the shuffling over there. But I try, but that you doesn't never mean know. Anything. Darkness doesn't mean one is very good. <laughs> yeah, one is very good. Mm. Okay, so this is bringing a little bit darker. Little, a lot that, bigger nose. Like a, it's like a, a darker version of caramel. Like if, way, you, if, you, way, if you cooked it a little longer, I, I you know what I mean? Where, where you get like, it's a it's darker and richer. It's oh. kind of all you get though. Yep. No, oh, no, yeah. It's it's a caramel bomb. You're not getting anything else. I was thinking I was getting a hint of a, of, of a nut in one, but I'm going to have to go back and check it. But I just thought I had hint. a light fruit to start. Yeah. I'm dying today for some reason. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I don't think we stepped down too much in proof, but it's got a different end flavor. A way different end flavor. Yeah. Like fucking wet grass. It has... Okay, I, 
I didn't go to that extreme just yet, but it, it does have a way it, different. It, no, no, no. When when I rolled that on, it's hanging on. It's hanging on like a bastard. But you scared me. When, 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 no, yeah. Oh, this got to be the purple top, man. That's what I'm thinking. Well, this got to be a Willet. And, and, all right, let me go for sample. Let me was go for glass too. I don't think it was that. I don't was know it? how hot it was to be honest with you, but this is drinking pretty hot. <sighs> all right, I'm not getting. A different, it's a super caramel nose, but I'm not getting anything mm -hmm. different in the nose. But there mm -hmm. is a different end flavor mm -hmm. in, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So it's it's not horrible, I don't, I, depending on how long I drink it. But when I roll it on my tongue, it starts giving me that <coughs> grassy hay flavor a little bit. So that I would, could be wrong. That one jumps into a, a, a heavier baby or gel effect, though. That one really gives you a huge numb. Numbness on your tongue. I think you need it because the palate's so bad. <laughs> but we... Uh... <laughs> All right, stop it. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. But I'm, I'm, I'm not, totally guessing. Well, it. Maybe are, it's not. And, and I'm listening. But, but, but you are... I Do you not get that? It, like, it breaks into a lightness. I don't get the gr okay, grassiness, so... It, so... On glass one, it was like a caramel bomb all the way through, and, and that flavor was... stayed throughout the whole and thing, and a nice too. oaky finish at the end, mm. where this one, as soon as you roll it on your tongue... It breaks into this it's like still brittle. Or no, 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 it no. holds on. Don't get me wrong; it coats, but the flavor isn't as strong or as good as what glass one was. It might be stronger, but it's a bad flavor. I'm not arguing your point. Okay, I I'm, told I'm you just... there's a unique flavor in here that right. stands mm. out. And all right, I'm gonna, you, now we can you, you, you contribute that to a grass. It doesn't come up as grass to me, but the Lord knows both of us probably ate it. <laughs> Way more grass than the right. average. We, we, we can knickknack on this now because they've seen it. I think we might be doing a like a bookers versus. I think I'm getting a nut on a glass one. In the nose? Yeah. Yeah. Just a hint of it. I think I, I could go I, I, I think we might be doing like a like a bookers versus a purple top or something. That's something I would throw but in. Purple top wouldn't even be. Wouldn't I don't know if I would have put I would have put something strong against the purple top because I want to bury it. Yeah, but purple <clears> top is a rye, isn't it? No. No, well, it isn't. I don't think so. You can look. I no, I that one see. is that 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 nasty one over there is a rye, but oh. I, I think that's a bourbon. I don't know. Whatever this, whatever glass what? two is, it's bringing me that glass, which which I get on the Kentucky Owls and I get on all of them. So it can be any one of them. I get it on Willet. I get it on Kentucky one's Owls. One nose is smoking too. All right, I'm gonna take. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go two to one this time. I'm going to say two's nose is better than its palate. It's not terrible. I can drink this. I, 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 I can drink it right down. But when I roll it on my tongue, I got to do another sip of this. Maybe I'm talking myself into it. I hate when I do this, but I'm I'm talking myself into trying to guess a bottle. But that's not what this game is anymore. No, so. it's definitely not. Mm. And I sucked at that part. So there's way more caramel in two. All right. I'm going to just go on which one I like better. I'll be shocked if that's not like a Willet product, because that's that's bringing like the that grassy wet hay flavor. It's bringing a different end flavor by far. You are correct. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't jump to me as grassy wet hay, but it's. Yeah, could even, I don't think. But Bern, I, I, I don't I, think I Bernheim so. did that to me though. I know the young one brought brought the black licorice that I, I couldn't yeah, stand. Yeah, I don't think this is a ninety four. I, I, this is over ninety four. Then I think the regular Bernheim was lower, mm -hmm. eighty six ninety four. I just don't know. I, oh, there's not even a question. The way one coats and flavors so much better. I do get a nut. I think that might be a Booker's. I I get like that a nutty. It's got a nice viscosity. The flavor lasts no matter how much you roll it on your tongue. It doesn't break down it, into it, a dirty it, wet grass. And you don't egg. get an end, end. Yeah, that twang on the end, whatever that is, and and it's just you, you, to me, it it brings me to that wet. Grass I get a fruity, egg. fruity nose in that. I get I more caramel I could, in I one. Don't get your fruit. Two, two has a. It's on a nose. Two is 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 a caramel bomb. It, no, it's it's all. Yes. But when you drink it, it it brings that weird flavor in my mouth that I don't like.
This one's not as it, bad as some. No, I was going to say. You it, know, it's, it's getting it's, better the more it, I keep drinking it. I, I, Maybe I, I'm wrong. Maybe it's not even that. But but in this instance, it definitely carries. Mm-hmm. But I, I think I prefer one mm-hmm. over two. Personally. But I agree. I, I don't, I don't There's know. There's some twang in two. There is, there is I, a whole different flavor yeah, in two. I could be 100% I, I wrong know. on the bottles I picked. I 100% take glass one all day long over glass two. And, and one actually, I mean, two probably gives you a little more of a baby orange oil effect. See, and I, I, I think the opposite. I think one actually I gives just, me a little more proof. I just proof, finished, but. well, because now, yeah. all right, well, what do we got? Because I'm. I don't know. You, what we do is we're going to have to pause it because I grabbed the wrong books over here because I they were over there, so I can't tell you. <laughs> All right, so we are back. And after we see what it is, it makes perfect sense to me because this is exactly what oh, we perfect. said. So the loser on this one happens to be on my side. and what was it, number 250. So this one's the Elijah Craig B523 bourbon. Comes in at 125.2 proof. And we got it for $69.99. And that twang is that same nasty twang. When we did the, the best of last year, it was not even in the running with the other it, two. It wasn't. But I'm getting a nutty nose a little bit now. Ooh, I almost spilled. Now, the, the well, nose isn't a, bad. No, it's, it's got, that it's, weird It's common flavor. with a nut nose now. But mm. it, it, again, it, it, didn't, it didn't hold on to this one. No, it breaks in the middle. And, and, you know, all you guys that are professionals that do this all the time, you said it was a bad whiskey. I thought you were all crying because it wasn't. It was the first one that wasn't twelve years. It really is inferior c- compared to all the other ones we did. So the winner today was on Mike's side, and that is the Booker's twenty twenty three oh three bourbon. It comes in at one hundred twenty six point six proof. We got it for ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And again, that so we knew we had proof. These two were the ones. The, these two have been in there for the longest time. What you know, once whenever we cracked them, we had put them in there. They've been in there, but this, you know. Somebody had mentioned one time before about, about about the Elijah Craig too. For whatever reason, this one's just so off profile, and it, mm. it has a nasty aftertaste compared to all the rest of them. It, it was hands down easily the last place last year when we did. Oh it, yeah, the, it yeah. did stand out by far uh, according uh, against the rest of them, it, and it just had it had that weird yeah, it's got flavor funk, profile it, it in the in the. In, Mid and end. It has so. that almost willet taste where it breaks well, down a bit. It, it gives me that grassy, nasty. I don't get I don't that, like but it, it. It, it But I told you it had a funky taste. So yeah, yeah. Whether you oh, no, you got the grass yeah, yeah. out or whatever, it, mine's just whatever like, no, it is. It off. breaks. It breaks down. But this, it, you know, true to to test. Every time we do a book, is you got to leave it in the glass for ten minutes before no, it actually wakes up. It does because it's actually it is. It's very it is good. Quite to his profile as. It, where he's just, I could see him sitting there by the yeah, river. Just waiting. And, and just wait. It's coming. Just wait. It's he's fishing. Coming. Yeah, yeah. And he'll, he'll get one eventually. Right. So mm-hmm. I, I could see that. You know, mm-hmm. he's, he's content and he's not in a hurry. And because that one got better as opposed to the other one that just kept getting worse. I, but, I, I agree. Yep. Well, there you go. That's Blind Fight Friday. If you want to see a future Blind Fight Friday, leave a comment down below because I will put them in there and I will put your name next to it. Again, these were two bottles that have been in here for, you know, months if not years that that i happen to match up together just to see you know where they would land so that being said thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video spend less drink more cheers Cheers.